Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and slanted living is the way to go. But uh, for now, let us go ahead and resume our uh, extra long run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and probably do so in an upright fashion. Uh, so last time we liberated Col Colony, Ga uh, Colony Gamma, there we go, and um, then uh, Commander Teach here has decided there's something that uh, he wants to discuss. Now, I don't know why Noah and Ty are on a, Ty on our, uh, standing up to speak to each other. That just seems silly. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and have us a talk. Group chat first, right? So, Teach, what's this favor you wanted to ask? Okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. I want to know if you consider teaching the newbies in Colony Gamma. In an instructional, in, in, its, <laughs> in an instructional capacity. Col Colony Gamma's flame croc. Flame croc. God dang, I can't talk. Colony Gamma's flame croc was broken by your hand, Urbanus. But the conflict between Kevis and Agnes continues. If things get more violent, then my newbies are going to need to be proficient in battle if they're going to survive. And you want us Kabesi crew to teach them what we know? Yes, that's why I asked you. The training will be all the more meaningful coming from you. So, there's an extra dimension to this. Yes, if you teach them, you'll, be the, you'll become the model for them to emulate. You want them to emulate us. Kevis is supposed to be our implacable enemy, living only to bring Agnes down. But you overturned those biases and came to an understanding among yourselves. So I want them to take uh, to take you as their role models and shake up their ideas. You want them to relax their aggression and wariness towards Kevis. Having such strong feelings with nowhere to vent them is going to eventually drive people to fight over nothing. I think it's vital for the uh, I think it's vital to teach them this, to keep them away from war. I understand. Well in that case, we'd be we don't In that case, we'll only be too happy to help out. I've got to say, that's the uh, this is my first ever teaching job. When should we start? Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'll support you through the beginner, the beginner program. First, I'll, po I'll post the news that you've been made teachers, along with your personal history is on the Colony Bulletin Board. Based on the Bulletin Board posting, the soldiers, the soldiers will decide who they want to learn from. An unusual method, letting the students to choose a teacher. Right. This method emphasizes their independence. If you do it this way, surely everyone will just choose me out. Not at all. The new recruits are genuinely, cur genuinely curious about all of them. Guess I'll find out. Let's give it a go. I've never taught either, but I'll do my best not to let you down. You know, I believe it, coming from you. Thank you so much for helping me out this. Now go out there and lead these newbies into a new future. Teaches teachers. Let's get going. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to teaching. I guess. Senna and Uni. Put Snagma in his sorrow. Okay. Got it all memorized. And as far as theoretical knowledge, yeah, that stands to reason. Zakir, Mina, and Shun. And now we know things. Is this gonna be a thing where like? I end up having to 
come back here like repeatedly to figure out uh, who needs some teaching. We got a conversation about role models. Uh, that's leading out of the colony. So before we have some more conversations here, let's see if uh, we can overhear anything else around Ken. Does not look like there's anything else to over here. Oh, well, okay. We checked at least. Let's go back to the canteen and have us a chat. Yeah, you can't always give a hundred percent. I like that uh, they'll actually kind of focus on certain people sometimes. Although, Mio seems to be, like, talking and not moving her mouth. Which is weird. Please don't do that. Um... Let's start with role models, I guess. Yeah, we did. That's a good point. An expert ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep getting uh I'm gonna go ahead and delete that just in case. So yeah, apparently we're doing good things with uh with our power here. Group okay, first, right? so someone wants to um get some theoretical knowledge from Tyon, which I'm not sure. I mean, that seems like a logical choice. I'm not sure how he's going to do as far as imparting it. Sure, why not? <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. You're dumb. <laughs> and get his time to shine. And by the way, if you want to give one of the party members their time to shine, uh, there is a uh, game changer for 5,000 points called exactly that, My Time to Shine, which will 
uh, force me to put uh, your party member of choice in the lead for half an hour. Oh, um, hang on. Apparently that's broken. We should talk about this. I mean, you do have some talent. No, it's all good, Sim Guy. Um, I'm not really sure why that did that. <laughs> Two ashes with your surprisingly. There are attackers and defenders, but what, no healers? <laughs> I don't think whipping is called for. I mean, we're not going to be any worse than uh, Commander Teach here. Let's get going. Oh, Kido. Um, instruct the newbies teams. Be nice if you were to tell me where to go, game. Wait, what level is this quest? Okay, so Teach's Teachers here is probably going to be a, a quest that uh, goes on for a while, which is why it's level 57. It's like the No Pawn Register being level 55. It's not necessarily a hard quest, it's just one that's going to last a long time. That's good, at least. And probably one of those problems is going to be dealing with the fact that there is a Kavesi in, in this uh, class. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? Do you?
I mean, I guess. In a way. Fair enough. And while they're running off and getting that permission, let's uh, let's meet this group. Oh please. Apparently. What's with the devil horns, by the way? That's weird what you got there. Also, I, I love how they are uh, they're dressed the same. They're mostly from the fact that you know they're currently in the same class. Oh boy. Uh, please get your act together. Yeah, of course you're gonna go with Yuni's idea, because you don't like Senna. If you need some guidance, you are always welcome. Let's just pretend that these two always classes nice are happening at the same time with different people. So what should an attacker typically do if targeted by the enemy? Redouble your attack, pull back and wait for a defender to assist, or give up. I don't think give up is the correct answer. Uh, basically, what what do you what do you do if you're DPS and you have aggro? Right, you let the tank sort it out. Oh my goodness. Almost midnight, can you please not? What is the most important component of a chain attack? Hmm. I don't think it's everyone's enthusiasm. I feel like the balance of roles within the party is what, uh, what Tyon's gonna say here. 
What name is given to class specific techniques? That's talent base. Which of these is wrong? Break, topple, launch, smash. Break, topple, daze, burst. Break, topple, daze, beguiling charms. One of these things is not like the other. Whose role is it to attract the enemy's attention? Well, that's the tank, of course, the defenders. So apparently this is just an oral test and we're going to get told how well we've done at the end. Questions related to situational awareness. So meanwhile, while that was happening, Again, just kind of pretending here that, uh... So let's get one of these, uh... One of these ads first. If I can find what, what I'm attacking here. There we go. It's here. How are you, Gentleman? How are you, doing so belong to it. No chance to survive in the Lions needs to stop being an idiot. Mm. Finally, thanks. I guess I'm gonna move over here. I'll do it real quick. Okay, so I guess we're just going directly into fighting them again. Uh, 
I was hoping to do like one fight and then go back to uh, the other group and impart upon them. Who am I on right now? Okay. Oh, they, they lost two games. That's what happened. I don't get why the, uh, why the music fades out there for a second, like, and I feel like it's not always at the same place. So what, we're just going to do seven on two? Puts more like fools. I like how Nagamo decided to uh, force aggro. But you're the one we're targeting anyway, buddy. I mean, so to their credit, they seem to have like a lot of health. But they're like running on pure adrenaline and spite. And you can't be bringing that into a battlefield. When we uh, when we get to down to just puts, I might want to actually use that chain attack that I have on right now. Wait, did we just inflict Smash successfully? Also, Tyon's down, which is not ideal. I don't expect this to uh, to go for very long here, but. Uh,
You don't really get the sense that his weapon is in, is nunchucks until he starts doing things like that. Feeling on the field, and this should hopefully overmatch by a single point. Well, actually, two points. And considering the tie on's down, I don't think we're gonna overmatch again. Oh, we are. Oh, we are. Unless I end up pressing the wrong button here. There we go. Reactivation for 76 points. But I don't think we're going to have... Well... Holy crap we did. Chain attack is, uh, is out of charge though, so... Rarg, are you done now? Yeah, no kidding, just went three rounds in a row. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's kind of what happened here. Because he didn't ask for one. So uh, no, the le the lesson is over. We kick their asses. They need to rest. Uh, this this girl just really wants to. Pump iron, don't you? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I guess that's what they're gonna be doing. I hope everyone's getting along. Anyhow, any dang way. Um, while all that was happening, I hope everyone's getting along. Again, kind of pretending that these are happening at the same time. So now that we've just had a uh, uh, 
some, you know, actual practice training. Let's review theory. What's the name of the desert in the Fornus region? Oh. I actually don't know. Highest rank in a colony. Um, in, in a colony is commander. Consul's not actually part of the colony. And Ouroboros is kind of the enemy, so. Her statement about the flame clocks and the arrows is correct. And Kevis is in the left eye, Agnes the right. And Kevis is the right eye, Agnes the left. And both Kevis and Agnes is in both eyes. Man, this these are specific questions. I'm gonna say this. Only because the um Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Right, the flame clock, the flame clock in the iris. The, the one in the, uh, the retinal interface they have. And, uh, for Kevis, it's in the right eye. Which colony rank comes after copper? I would have to say iron. Which equipment is exclusive to Kavesi soldiers? Ah, power frames. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's for Noah. Dang. I'm not good sitting quietly. <laughs> That's true. I mean, Futsa just got his ass handed to him. Yes. What do you mean? Then why even have it? Why why did you pretend like it meant something? The proper attitude, what? <sighs> Why are people so noisy at midnight?
everyone's getting along. But I do wonder if it uh, if there's like a much different um, a much different result if I actually yeah, do uh, win that competition. Hey, Kyrie. show up right at this moment. And you have something else to, to tell us? At this point, it's not like you need to worry about your flame clock. Is there anything else on this board? Nope. Looks as though we've tapped this place out at this point. There's just maybe a couple of more people to talk to. Please don't run up against the people we're talking to. They um, are tie on. Yeah, I gotta be careful in battle. Only you can prevent along. forest fires. How's this procession going on over here? Mm, battle calibration, I guess? Gotta huh. keep those levenesses in shape. We're also really close to, uh, getting up to level three here. Always nice to have more friends. It'd be nice to, it'd be nice if I could just do it with, um, just talking to people, but I think we've run out of people to talk to at this point. So I think it's going to be the matter of actually checking the Collectopedia. Gamma is as vibrant as ever once again, thanks to you. There we go. All the hard work was worth it to hear you say that, Commander. So, there is something that has been bugging me for a little bit. It's something that I feel like I need to check and hopefully it won't take too long.
Okay, so the voice of Teach is Martin Sherman. Okay, no. That's not the person I thought it was. Okie do. Um, big friendly friend. We have way over level chapter. Chapter 3, by the way. Something smells tasty. <laughs> it's going directly for the canteen, huh? Didn't I already talk to you? Hair and eye color? Okay. Sure. Can we maybe train? This is not the place we do training, you silly. Lick those plates clean, guys. Also, I think that having this uh this new meal is going to teach uh, Manana a recipe. I volunteer for taste tester. And we have nothing to discuss right now. Got their back. Oh, there's Something another person to talk to. Tasty. We just ate, you silly. Mm -hmm. Hope you do. Okay. Fornus region it is. So I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I don't think it'll actually let me change regions from uh, fast travel. At least as far as I can tell. So basically I would have to go here and then manually walk into Forest region and then I can fast travel within Forest region. Which is silly but eh, whatever. Oh, very map. I don't know what this line is. The climb of the wall here. Okay, I am honestly just curious as to what that is. So we're going to ignore our quest marker for a bit. This is something decent, right? Pretty much everything here is going to just ignore us too, unless there is a uh, a unique somewhere. Don't tell me I can't get up there from here. Really? Can I do me dirty game? Okay. What if I do this? There we go. Mm. Okay. Now we're actually on. You're gonna send them off, right? Yes. And we literally have two offseers in the party, so. Okay. 
Okay, so what is... So I want to come this way. Container here. We should be able to climb up with that. Okay, buddy, surprise me. Bunch of knob on coins. And now let us see what is up here. I guess that I can't just type rope walk off of this. And this is something that I'm gonna just have to come back to later. Yeah, I know. Okay, well it was worth a it was worth a look and we got a couple of things out of it. There's an ether channel over by Colony 4. Let's go harvest that. to exactly 32 canisters. There's another one here, but I'm not sure if I can get it from down here. There's also this bus mark over here. Well, I guess uh, I guess this is what we're doing. This shouldn't be too big of a deal. They're level 23. Oh, 
Yeah, they're just kind of melting, aren't they? You have a cool what weapon. What was that? Pull back. I don't like our odds. They must be silver rank at least. Also, you know the game means business when it has uh, what I call a class one cutscene. Apparently just focus on her chest. Your insights. Your crude fighting wastes almost all your potential. And you, good judgment, but you're a bad quitter. Just as I'd heard, sadly. I knew it. Colony Iota. I've heard about them. I bet you have. Commander Alexandria's fame for her keen wit. How dare you take Dame Alex's name in vain, scum! We've committed no crimes. I suppose you can prove that? Well, proving a negative isn't really possible. But what you think you know isn't the whole truth. Hey, oh dear. <gasps> Dame Alex! Senna! I'm so there! Sorry to go off book on you folks. Snuff. That's enough. It will suffice for this little trial. You struggle for your lives in vain. Uroboros criminals. Those lives will be mine. This I swear. There are a bunch of morons. They as we really have. like focusing on our chest. To boot. Indeed. But that might make for a fun reception. What you think you know is not the whole truth. Huh. I do hope you'll tell. Looks like we managed to lose them. Oh, what in Her Majesty's ever-loving cheekbones just happened back there? Simply put, our foes were well-versed in the art of war, though their methods were inelegant, to say the least. Inelegant, like war's ever pretty. They're official at stockpiling combat rewards. That's how they managed to climb to silver rank already. I heard they even share their supplies with other colonies. That seems kind of awesome. Sharing supplies? Why would they do that? It would prove beneficial in the long term, I think. Creating debts to strengthen ties with other allied forces does open up your options, insofar as battle tactics are concerned. And if that leads to better results in combat, you can get your hands on even more goods. What I'm getting here is that they're trouble. Yes. And to make matters worse, Alexandria herself announced that they will come for us again. I bet us traitors would net them a hefty reward, huh? So how about we turn the tables on them? Punch their lights out! Listen to yourself, you doofus. We're talking silver here, yeah? Well, whatever we choose to do, here's something to bear in mind. Colony Iota's commando group is made up of four units. Regardless of the precautions we take, we have a high chance of encountering them. We should consider our approach carefully. Well, in that case... In terms of sheer power, they're the ones with the advantage. We 
We should avoid a direct confrontation. If we could just dismantle those commando units, it would help lower the colony's capabilities. And it might give us an opening to strike? Yeah, if it comes to that. But it basically allows us to avoid fighting as much as possible, right? I like that plan. No objections from me either. Personally, I'd hope we don't even meet them. Always nice to have more friends. All right, so that encounter happened. Um, Always nice to have more friends. Oh, <laughs> uh, said I was doing squats there for a Always second. Nice to have more hey, friends. did you guys hear something? It's con continuously always nice to have more friends. Always nice to have more friends. I think that's basically the default uh, response for, oh, there's something new in the affinity chart. Just uh, did it. Okay, colony info updated. Hey, you're about to dig something up. Thank you. Oh, it cleared up in a second there. Wow. If we can Whoa, get up there and get those items. Right here. Ha. Ha. Gotta understand the lay of the land. Ha. Get up there. Senna, please. end up now somewhere I don't really want to be. These things are level kick my ass. Um, point of interest. Well oh, that's interesting. What's also interesting is that I don't really have, like, a good way of getting there. Other than just run down there, so I guess that's what we're doing. that I'm seeing. They're not things that I'm able to solve.
do our best to explore everything here. necessarily want to go into the desert just yet. Not sure that we can get over there from here. Yeah, the lay of the land here says no. The lay of the land says get out of here. Pick one. You don't get any rewards either way, so just pick one and clear this up. That was pretty much what I expected. I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Tyon? You're about to get something up. We should be able to rest here. Hey. Not bumping any faster. Yeah, interesting. Scaredy Ferris. Let me just gain some insight on crafting gems. In your favor for Shill Shill. Ah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No Ponity. Always nice to have more friends. Yes, that is definitely a thing that we can do. Melic Meadows. We've probably been there. Yeah, you can't always give a hundred percent. Ah, much better. Ourselves cleaned up. And then have a little discussion on crafting gems. Which is probably just gonna give us a little bit of uh experience. Okay. <laughs> I think they used the wrong diacritic on the C there. That looks like a circle, not a sedia. I have my doubts. Yeah, uh, I mean, if that's true, if that's true, that's the entire lifespan of one of us. Everyone got their strength back. I hope everyone's getting along. Oh, wait. I missed the fact that, uh, oh, that what, that's what these, uh, these flute icons are. It's a husk that I need to send off.
such is the Offseer's duty. And I ran off and died in a corner, unfortunately. This is something decent, right? Maybe got cornered by one of these big folks. I'm just gonna let him do that. I do zero forty-five. I'm just gonna let him do whatever, as long as it doesn't involve me. Other user channel. Tap into this. So that is literally Kevis versus Agnes. Like that's the last thing that I want to interfere in. I wonder what decides, uh, what if anything decides who sends, uh, who sends off a, uh, a husk. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Like if it, if it's just the first between, uh, Noah and Mio to show up. Oh, oh you're level 81. I do not want to deal with you in the slightest. Oh no! Uh, can I run this way? Is there a place to run to? Okay, fortunately I was able to disengage. But you're still there. Hmm. Okay, you... Okay, you're over there now. And just kind of coexist and not bother each other. Something so funny. Oh, not close enough. Okay, buddy, surprise me. Getting dark already. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Also, yeah, what's, uh, where is that? Over there? Alright. At least it's clear when there's a group of them like this. We're gonna need both of them. Uh, 
clear this off here while hopefully not. Planning on fighting that. Nope, I am not planning on fighting that at all. I'm just making sure everything is scouted. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be so concerned about the fact that uh, nobody really watches this. I mean, it does kind of make me question the fact that, like, I'm only playing for four hours a week. But at the same time, when I do actually come in and play this, I can mostly just kind of do whatever. And these guys are too low level to worry about us. So there's the uh, there's the supply drop over there. That's something that I can get to. It appears so. at the area map here. Is this the... What am I looking at? Okay, so for the moment I think I'm going to go over to... Only 30 here and see if we've uh, gather, gathered up enough supplies by now to actually what are we giving them? That's a good question. We're giving them whatever we have, which 
apparently still isn't enough. Well, I can't it. All right. Okay, so I think we'll uh, finish up for today by uh, following this quest line and see what we can figure out about uh, D. Gray Man here. Uh, where is the quest map? Is that back in Asia region? That is back in Asia region. Right, because we were kind of uh, on that track for a little bit, but uh, ended up kind of doing other things. large friend and by friend I mean it's going to frickin eat me if it looks this way Okay, so I guess we have to start from the beginning with the tracks again. If we lose the tracks, we have to go back to the source of them, I guess. Uh... Okay, now it's you. Right, tracks kind of appear and disappear, which is silly. Yep. Oh, hi. I was so focused on the tracks that uh, I wasn't paying attention to uh, a concubine over there. Oh, found something good here. <laughs> what do you reckon? Getting a lot of ether channels around here. Okay, that's a uh, that's a gravestone for a unique. Uh, you're gonna take us right through these Agnian troops, aren't you? Yeah. Also, I did see a husk over there, but that's not where the tracks are leading.
Well, as much as you're just kind of minding your own business, so... Uh... I must heed the Guardian's call, as it were. And for being literally half our level, it's uh, it's not going on that fast. Hey Jay, thanks for the raid. Probably not going for very much longer here, but uh, I appreciate the same. Where are these tracks going? Oh wait. I'm going the wrong way. I just realized. spot here that I have to investigate? Or is it just cross the water? That's right, I'm cool here, number one. What you got? Also, I saw a shiny over there and I'm totally gonna forget that's there. looking for you. Come on, throw us a bone here. Look, we want to talk. If you could just open up a bit. He doesn't seem like the type okay. to open. Let's start with names. Ours are... Don't need them. Stick to the point. The Kvesi are after you, right? If you tell us what that's about, we... You do what? Huh? It's nothing. That concerns you. Right, so if it did concern us, you'd answer. That's something. Are you our enemy? <sighs> still keep your mum. If you stop prying, we'll have no reason for hostilities. Says the guy who lashed out at us before. Yeah, not buying it. <laughs> oh, for spark's sakes, use your snuffing words. Uni, chill. I hate people who won't say what they mean! Oh, and this guy's flipping all my switches! Did you or did you not attack us just because you felt like it? Answer! It was just a warning. You neither need nor understand that thing that you have there. Don't you stick your necks where they don't belong. What, so you're gonna attack okay. us again to get your hands on it? I told you clearly. Stop prying. And we won't have to fight. So you need this thing then? Well... So... Does that mean you're... Wait. It seems you were followed. Followed? By who? Have we been followed this entire time? Oh. Hi. Ha! We found you! I knew you were in cahoots. What? Stop being wrong! Stop being no, wrong. We've got a thing too. This blunder is entirely on you. But I'll lend you clean up. Wipe them out. Hang on a leadness. This mother does nothing by halves. Hang what on a leadness? What? Traitors? Not that I care, actually. Get them! Wait, what? Hold up. What does that even mean? Hang on a leadness? Let's 
go ahead and uh, focus target. Take one of these love misses down. Got this all myself. Persistent. It might be wise not to linger. Agreed. It would be nice not to get wrapped up in any more scuffles. Uh, so why were those not after you anyway? Is it because of his sparkling personality? Ah, <sighs> perhaps so. Oh, so now you acknowledge it. You can hold on to that. You mean... That shard from earlier? So you don't need it after all? I never said that. But I can't be bothered trying to convince you. Right. Because talking to people is just such a chore. I mean, some people aren't good at talking to people. But if you were to abuse it, I may have to dispose of you. It seems you can use your heads, even if just a little. I will choose to trust in my late friend's words. Gee, that makes us feel a lot better. I meant what I said. So now what? What will you do after this? Save your breath, Mio. It's not like it'll answer you anyway. I have something to take care of. Oh, so you'll answer her. Even if it puts soldiers on your trail? Naturally. All right, well, that's the end of that then. Your life, your choices, man. Hey. What now? Don't die, you lot. Huh? If you need me, you can call me. I'll assist. Uh, that's rich coming from a guy that just tried to kill us. It was a warning. And a small test. What's this crap now? Honestly, I don't get this dude. I simply followed my friend's request. And your friend, that'd be who? When you say you'll help us, we can just take you at your word. Either way, I can't have the bearers of that thing running around unsupervised. Doesn't exactly inspire confidence, but hey, he's strong, so that's something. That's an awfully kind offer there, mister, but we don't even know what to call you. About time we got a name, don't you think? <sighs> Whoa, hey, stop right there! Your name, Spock, is Philip! Grey. Call me Grey. What was that guy's deal? Stuff if I know. Although he didn't look like a bad... Uh, I guess he kind of did look like a bad guy, huh? There does seem to be more to this story than we've seen so far. Just no fighting him again, please. Yeah, seconded. Punching his kind's not even all that satisfying. Grey, huh? All right, well, um, that happened.
And we have gained a new hero. Uh, Full Metal Jaguar Grey, and I'm going to guess that the class inheritor is probably going to be you. Yep. I kind of get how this game works for that now. Uh, Grey's class. Class Full Metal Jaguar. Roll Attacker. Shots grow deadlier with each consecutive hit. Time arts to enemy attacks to rack up the hits. Um, yeah, and that's why I figured that some people were reaching rank 10 here. So uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a shuffle. Uh, you're going to be a guardian commander. Uh, you're going to get your boss inheritance oh, right him. now. And then I'm gonna hit him again. Um, I'm going to give you flash cancer. You're gonna keep on being a war medic. And you're... I'm gonna make it tactician. Gotta keep you guys safe. This party might be a little heavy on healing right now, actually. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, oh yeah, I do need to go ahead and do this. Make sure everyone has their best gear and stuff. couple of heroes today. Can't forget our and we've liberated party. another colony. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to liberate another one pretty soon. It'd be good to kind of try to cover Kevis and Agnes as evenly as possible. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Yeah, that shot that we saw from uh, Colony Gamma, I'm pretty sure was this. But anyway. So thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you uh, to Sim Guy for hanging out and to Jade for the raid. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the uh sunday super shuffle we're gonna do some archipelago rando shenanigans um there is a tiny chance that we're gonna be on 0.3.5 because that's coming up pretty soon but that's probably still gonna uh wait until next week uh next stream after that is gonna be on tuesday at 9 p.m atlantic daylight time it is the uh long run stream the regular one uh, where uh, we're going to be playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We're about halfway through Chapter 2. You should be able to make it through the rest of that and uh, maybe on to Chapter 3, but we'll see about that as well. Following that is going to be our Code Creator stream on uh, Wednesday at uh, 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to get into some more programming uh, shenanigans. And that takes us round the wheel to our next um, 
what's it called, extra long run stream where we are going to play some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Letting you know as well that uh, at some point in the next week or two, I'm going to start streaming for the uh, Time Spinner Randomizer uh, tournament that is going on. There's also a possibility sometime in the future to uh, for me to be streaming on another tournament that I'm on, which is uh, Tofu Topple, although that one doesn't so much require streaming, so there's no guarantee of that. Um, and also, uh, sometime in the next week, no guarantees that I might be getting a computer upgrade. Um, at the worst, that might uh, end up canceling a stream somewhere, but I'm going to do my best to avoid that happening. Uh, let me just see here. Are we doing anything? Let's go raid Clandero. He's currently doing a 24 hour stream. Um, he's also doing some Archipelago stuff, and uh, in his case, he is playing Dark Souls 3. Uh, so let me just. Go ahead and get that set up right quick. So click on here, Raid Clan Hero. Okay. So I uh, actually he appears to be playing something else right now, but uh, I don't know, maybe he just forgot to change his game. He, he seems to be playing a Civilization game. I don't know which one this is. But uh, that aside, thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.